Hey guys, before we start the video, I would like to introduce you to the brand for Aviators. It's completely centered around sharing the joy of aviation with everyone. It's called Squawk Collective. They currently have a few products and will be adding more frequently. You can use code MARLIN for 10% off your entire order, and there is an unlimited amount of uses for that code, so enjoy. Now on to the video. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at two very similar aircraft. First the very famous Twin Otter, and next, a plane you've probably not heard of before. But I did make a video about this plane earlier. First, let's introduce the Twin Otter by de Havilland Canada. The Twin Otter is a high-winged, unpressurized, twin-engine turbine-powered aircraft with fixed tricycle landing gear. Designed as a rugged, short takeoff and landing commuter, the Twin Otter is capable of carrying passengers and cargo into remote, unimproved locations, including ski, and water-based operations. The Twin Otter aircraft has been sold around the world to customers operating in the harshest environments, including sub-zero temperatures in Antarctica, the hottest deserts of North Africa, the mountainous regions of the Himalayas, and the open water in the Indian Ocean archipelagos, a testimony to its rugged construction and incredible short takeoff and landing performance. The Twin Otter has become the best-selling 19-passenger aircraft of all time, still unmatched for its dependability and versatility. Next, the N219 Nertanio by Indonesian Aerospace. The N219 Nertanio is a new generation multi-purpose aircraft which is designed to carry 19 passengers with the largest cabin cross-section of its class. The engine is proven and efficient, advanced avionic system, fixed tricycle landing gear, and a wide cargo door to make it easier to change aircraft configuration. The N219 Nertanio is designed to provide the advantages to the operators from a technical and economic standpoint. Also, according to the company, the aircraft will be the most suitable mode of transportation to main defense and security in isolated areas. In addition, since Indonesian aerospace and its ability may be new to you, this extra information may be helpful for you. The company has subcontracts for components of aircraft built by Airbus and Boeing, including but not limited to the Boeing 737 and the Airbus A380. Also for aircraft such as the F-16 Fighting Falcon. Now we'll get into the comparison. On to the power plan of these aircraft. Both aircraft are powered by Pratt & Whitney Canada PT6A series engines, along with both being equipped with Hartzell made propellers. The Twin Otter has two Pratt & Whitney Canada PT6A-34 engine models, having a power rating of 750 shaft horsepower each with hard cell three bladed propellers. The N219 has two Proud & Whitney Canada PT6A-42 engine models, having a power rating of 850 shaft horsepower each with hard cell four bladed metal propellers. In the cockpit, both of these aircraft are advanced. The Twin Otter is equipped with Honeywell Apex Suite and the N29 has Garmin G1000 Avionic. These aircraft both claim to be very versatile and built to last. Just the Twin Otter has history on its side. The Twin Otter is extremely versatile, offering optional abilities such as commercial operations, industrial support, essential services, special missions, private or recreational such as sky diving, cargo transport, and as a seaplane. But the N219 also offers very versatile operational capabilities. In addition to its passenger transport configuration, the N219 can also be fitted with appropriate equipment to fulfill various mission requirements, such as troop transport, medical evacuation, cargo transportation, surveillance, and search and rescue. Next up is performance. We will start with the speed. The N219 has a max cruise speed of 210 knots, while the Twin Otter has a max cruise speed of 182 knots. On to range, the N219 can fly as far as 828 nautical miles with max maximum fuel, while the Twin Otter can fly 775 nautical miles with its standard tank, but if it's upgraded for long range, it can fly up to 980 nautical miles. Next, service ceiling. The N219 can fly up to 24,000 feet, while the Twin Otter can fly up to 25,000 feet. In all, these aircraft are really similar in many ways. They both have short takeoff and landing capabilities, along with being able to take off and land on unpaved runways. They have a fixed landing gear, high wing configuration, 
They both have unpressurized cabins and advanced and modern avionics. What are your thoughts on these aircraft? Have you ever flown or seen either aircraft? If you enjoyed this comparison video, please leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get a notification when I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator, and I'm out.